uh, my screen is visible to everyone. Just type yes there in the chat. So it will be either at the bottom if you're uh, not sharing. Yes, okay, okay. Screen is visible, so yes, let's start. Hello, hello everyone. And since we've already spoken, we you know a little bit of me, not more. I'm Dr. Priyanka Desai, data scientist and consultant at aerocrux.com. I have worked in software industries and academia uh, as uh, in software industries as a developer coder and a mentor and uh, in uh, engineering university as an associate professor teaching engineering students. Okay, so now here I am with you all. Hope um, my knowledge will help you. Uh, and uh, we'll just go further and see how we can, you know, start. So since I got to know you all are from fourth, fifth and sixth standard, so we will be starting off with the basics of Python. And since you have done a little bit of text-based coding, I don't think it will be uh, difficult for you. So we will start with the level one right now, which will be helpful for you. Okay. So that was about me. So I've also spoken to you all. Uh, today it's basics of Python and you can see uh, more about the course on this link www.bringleacademy.com course Python basic. And uh, let me start. Okay, I'll have to share my screen first. Just a moment. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to see me. You are you are sharing your screen. Yeah, no, 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 not sc uh, screen. I want to, uh, you know, I have disabled my video, right? I will enable the video. Screen sharing is already there. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Yes, good. Right. So now let's uh, start with programming. Okay. So since you all know what is robotics and uh, programming a little bit, we will see what is it exactly and then go on with Python. So basically, why do we need to program is what we need to know first and then can anybody learn? And are there any prerequisites for the course? Is everybody is uh, you know thinking about it? What all do we need to know? And where do you start? and what is programming and how you give instructions, okay, uh, when you actually code. So this is what we are doing. Now, uh, why do we need to code? I will just give you an example, okay. I have this paperweight, okay. So this paperweight is kept on the dining table, okay. I ask you to get the paperweight from the dining room and give it to me. So what do you generally do is you pick it up, go to the dining room, pick it up and get to me. But if I ask a robot to do it and the robot is standing beside me, I have to precisely give instructions to the robot saying you just move back a few steps and go to the right and there is a door, go out, go to the left, there's a dining table and from the dining table there's a paperweight, pick it up and uh, take the same route, you know, uh, uh, you know, you are taking left, now you take right and then left and come and give it to me here on, in my hand. So this is the precise instructions that you have to give a robot. So that is what is the difference between a human and a robot. For a program, okay, the robot is also programmed, right? For a program, you have to give everything precisely, okay? so. As you all know, everything is online. You're learning online. You're buying things online. In the pandemic, you cannot go out. You're talking to your friends online. So everything is online. You're chatting online, right? So what I mean to say is whether it is a mobile or whether it's your computer, you can do anything online using both of them. So 
with the cell phone you can book tickets or uh, you can ask for a uh, pizza delivery or you can chat set up a chat and chat with friends the same thing you can do with your computer now what are all these all of these are some programs written by someone okay right so when you open a screen okay it's a program written by someone what it's making you it's making your life easy you are sitting somewhere and we both are connected and we are talking here through the programming that is available so it's basically making our life easy programming is about getting things done really fast right okay so this is what programming is all about so if you understood this then you will be a little inquisitive as to how it is being done but uh, to get into too much detail uh, for now since you are young we will not get into that we will start with the text based coding and then we will go on to the next level so now can anybody learn programming yes you just need to have the will to learn if a kid needs to learn english what the kid has to do is you have to teach the kid right from the scratch first the alphabets the kids need to understand the alphabets once they are uh, understanding the alphabets then they go ahead with the uh, word formation once they form the word then the sentence formation and the paragraph formation the same applies to your programming okay you will have to write uh, start from the print the uh, variable declaration the functions the list the loops the, uh, and then the files and other things getting information from somewhere so as in literature in english you have something known as a syntax here in coding okay so uh, as i said are there any prerequisite as of now there are none okay you just need to know how to handle computer and right now all of you are really good at because either you're using your mobiles your tabs or your um, computer to actually talk or do a lot of things okay that is enough and uh, basic knowledge uh, sixth but since uh, you uh, some of you in fourth standard itself uh, you've learned so it's not an issue that's what i said 6 to 12 uh, or more than that is also fine okay is what i'm looking at so where do we start okay there are so many programming languages and i have spoken to you all most of you are well versed with scratch robotics that's good enough and uh, so you know what is uh, programming how it is being done so what is the important part of programming is understanding the logic behind every problem there's a big problem you should be able to break it up into smaller problems is what we need to do okay a big problem is broken up into smaller problems so we are doing that and python helps you uh, you know do a lot of things you have a lot of libraries you have a lot of frameworks okay using them you can do a lot of things within a few lines of code okay you should start by giving instructions to the machine as i said programming is nothing but giving instructions but what instructions it is a precise set of instruction okay as i already told you it's nothing but a precise set of instructions which is given to computers to accomplish a desired task suppose you say uh, print a number okay you print the number and suppose you want to add two numbers then you uh, say add numbers but this is not how you do in programming we'll see how we do with variables and without variables today okay so how to give instructions so let's take an example now before i show you uh, the image okay i say this and i say this okay this implies coffee left hand this implies the number of coffee one so when i say this and this this means one this is coffee number one and if this is one i say two this is coffee and the number of coffees are two if i say 
fours, we'll see what is there in four. Okay. If I say four here, that means it is juice. And if I say two here, that means juice two in number. I need to order juice two in number. This is the instructions, the precise instruction that you're giving the computer. Okay, so programming is all about giving precise instruction. Instruction should be crystal clear and it should be understood by everyone. It should not be ambiguous. Ambiguous means it should be precise. Uh, I say something and it means something that's not what we have to learn to do. Okay, so as I already showed you, fingers imply what I need to order. And uh, at the right hand, the one here is the number of items that I need to order. So our main agenda for today is basics of uh, Python. Okay, so here, why Python? And uh, introduction to Python. Installing, uh, I'll just show you, you are not supposed to do it today. Installing Anaconda on Windows and uh, we'll see what all operating systems you're working on. And then you have uh, troubleshooting if there is any error installing. So I'll just uh, tell you what can be done, how to run the program, uh, the print statements and the variable statement, printing numbers and printing messages. So as we already saw, the main agenda is this. Now next is uh, we need to know why Python. Python is uh, portable. If you write Python on Windows operating system in Spider, uh, you're writing the code. You can use the same code on your MacBook. You can use the same code on your Linux and it will still work. So that is what portability means. Okay. So whatever code is written in any of the operating systems, it will still work. So now it is also used in embedding, okay? So you have uh, known Raspberry uh, Pi. If, uh, uh, if you've done a little bit of robotics, you know, uh, the next level is Internet of Things. What is Internet of Things? I have my mobile. I have switched on the TV in the TV room and I don't want to get up and switch it off there. I use a button, on click of the button, the TV will be switched off. That is what Internet of Things is about. You can do things, can, uh, you know, control it via Internet. CRM, we are using a space, Bringle Academy, that is CRM, wherein all your details are logged in, whether you've attended or no. So, and uh, if you have any MCQs to be doing, that will be uh, ported there, and you will give your, uh, you know, uh, MCQ uh, level there. So basically, uh, this is some things that uh, you can do, but we are not focusing more on embedded and uh, this part here. We're just focusing on the basics. Now, as you know, uh, it is open source. Python is open source. You, do, you just have to click on Anaconda and you can install and it is easily available. And next is it is English-like, not exactly like I have mentioned here. If you want to add two numbers, you are declaring a variable and how to uh, take the inputs, it's not the same, it's a little different, but it's basically English-like, okay? You are taking two variables, adding them and printing them. Next, uh, we will just have a little introduction of Python. It's uh, widely used and it was designed in 1991, though it was designed in 1991, it has gained traction in the last five years. Mostly everywhere people are using Python, whether it is Internet of Things, doing apps, uh, graphic user interface, uh, or uh, Python or CRM, so everywhere. So in material of uh, which stream you are in, you are working with Python. So that's the reason we have selected Python. And uh, Spider IDE, I will show you. Uh, the spider IDE and the console as we go ahead. So installing Anaconda. So basically you can either open Google and say anaconda.ide or you can open your Chrome and just type anaconda.com and you'll get this, you have to download and these are the things. And once you're done with the process, you will have to type in spider here, type here 
and then once you are done uh, typing it will open spider and you are ready to code and if you're not comfortable for simple uh, if and all those condition you can use the https ide.codingblocks.com wherein uh, you don't have to download anything you it, you just have to open it and start coding so you can do this but since we are trying to import and do a little bit of other things though it's basic we are focusing on the spider here and uh, troubleshooting as i told you uh, if you don't get it there uh, the version on uh, uh, console then you will have to delete it and again reinstall it okay so that is uh, basically what is done if the ipython console is not visible we'll see what is the ipython console to more have joined in if you missed out not to worry we will uh, the uh, recording is being done so now how to run a program okay so you just uh, have a screen and there is a run button you click on run when you print 10 click on run and it is visible in the console you have print so your uh, print statement helps you to display and then uh, printing a number you use print and this now here this is what i was speaking about this is the workspace write python code here means this is the workspace where you're writing print 10 and this is the console in the console you have to see ipython 6.2.1 or any other new version that is available if you do not see this that means it is not installed properly if you're using spider okay so you have to reinstall it again so we'll see how to print a message. Uh, you can use single quotes, you can use double quotes, okay? And you can print it uh, in a string like this as a quotation. Okay, so uh, let's go to the demonstration. I'll stop the screen. I'll share my Python screen. Okay, so Python screen, uh, I hope it's visible. If it is not visible, just uh, uh, let me know. So here we have a file. It's visible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Python, yes, good. So here I am creating, there is, if you see, uh, it's already open uh, because it will take time to open. So I had already opened it. So you have file, you have edit, you have search and all these. Today we are using file and we are using the run button. File is at the left hand and run is somewhere in between. Okay, so when you say file and uh, if it's already you have coded, you have to open or uh, if it is not, then you will have to again create a new one. So right now I'll show you how to create a new file and then code. So today we'll just say today is 26th. So I'll save it as okay. Always make sure you are uh, writing whatever a number or something. 26 underscore main. Okay, write underscore, not minus. Minus uh, implies you're subtracting. So whenever you're giving a name for whatever reasons. Try to make sure whether it's a folder name or anything, don't give spaces in between. If you're uh, giving uh, your name as a folder or a file name, it's always better to give uh, my underscore name dot pi. Okay, so uh, we are just uh, saving it here. So right now I'll just show you how to print. It's done in a very few lines of code. Okay, and I say run, and it is giving me run here, 10. Okay, so this is how you print a number, simple number. Then your print, printing a string, okay, and make sure that when you are doing this print, open the braces within whatever you have to print. The next one is print, open the braces, the quotation marks, and then this is for a string, okay? 
numbers, you're just printing like that if it's a string within the quotation mark. And you have to come out of the uh, brackets and then run it. Okay, so because if you're going to the next level, then you will not have problems. So right now, this is a simple way as to have you write the print statements. Now we will see how to print uh, using your uh, sequence. Now, what is a sequence? I will uh, say shift. Shift is at the uh, on the keyboard, left hand side. Shift and hash. This means it will be commenting one line. So what I do is I say sequence. That implies I am giving you instructions. Of, yes, Arna. Like, do we have to delete anything on the top here that's on green? Like it says create um. Oil. No, 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 no. That is just it is created, and if you can see, there are quotation one, two, three, and there's a quotation down one, two, three. Okay, quotation marks. That implies it is commenting. Okay, that it is commenting. Oh, okay. so, so that is comment. Like this is for multiple lines of comment, and single line of comment is hash and sequence. Okay. So right now, uh, we uh, what is a separator? Uh, not a, uh, let's see what is a separator. A separator is the one that joins uh, two uh, words or um, say uh, strings together. I will just show. Okay, and I'll see. Yeah, and this is how you have to do. You have to. Print, open the brackets, you have to say here within the quotation, then you're giving a comma, then again within the quotations, you're giving the name, hey Griha, okay, and then you're using a separator. What does the separator do? It, uh, if I say none, okay, it will take as it is. I will print and show. It will say hey Griha, because we have given nothing. Now I can say, Okay, separator equals to new line. Okay, and I save. You have to first save it and then run it. So what has happened is he is printed on one line and Guriha is printed in another line. So separators are used to combine basically. And uh, we have already seen how we combined it uh, there. Uh, okay, instead of a new line, I will give a comma here. Okay, and see how it prints. So basically, what is happening is it's comparing. It's saying hey, comma, griha. Okay, griha is the name of a person. So now we will use end. What is end? Okay, so uh, end is something that uh, is used to join something. Okay, you have a first uh, sentence written and you're uh, attaching the second sentence. To the first one okay so that is appending it to the first one that is what is uh, end about okay so joining the one sec uh, i'll stop my video If you can see, I'm typing this is Python and it is in the quotation. Beside it, like a separator, I'm saying end equals and with the quotation, I am giving a comma. That means I am writing another sentence after this and I'm joining the first one with the second one with the use of comma. Okay. And again, I start a quotation because it is your string. Taught online. Okay, so this is taught to you online, and uh, I need to end it with a dot. Okay, so when I okay, end equals I'm missing. So you can see here, uh, your uh, you will get an error message here itself. Okay. So end equals is what I missed. So that's why it was showing that red there. So now I save and I run. See, 
this is python taught online okay so what is happening this is python and the second one is being appended taught online so now we will see another uh, what we are doing again hash separator plus end we are using both and we'll see what happens okay print and uh, we will see uh, Okay, uh, I'll just say Griha and yeah, I hope everybody is seeing, okay, with the open and the closing base and it has to be double quotes, double quotes and then uh, rim maybe is a name, okay, and then we have uh, a separator, I took a double, it will show error, separator equals this because I need to join in the second one and I give end equals to again comma because I have to join the end with the comma the second one that I am writing it. Okay. Okay, so this is double quotation and single quotation you have to be very careful. And then uh, Ray, and we have two here, and then we say only the separator equals this, and we run and see. Save and run. What is happening? Okay, it is printing Griha Remandre, but we don't need that, so we need print. And we say new line here. So this is the escape sequence. Okay. That means the next one will be printed in the new line. Now we want it like this. Griha, Rim and Ray. Okay. So this is what we want. Now we'll just see a simple variable declaration. Okay. User input. Okay. So now if it is a name, what you do is you say name equals to you take input is the condition that you take from uh, you know it's a reserve word and you say enter name okay and let's say equal to okay so this is the variable declaration you're taking inputs from the user here okay we are saving it and we are running it here enter the name uh, so rim and you're out of it because it is executed, okay? So, uh, and another variable, uh, we will see a simple variable with uh, say uh, another number taking, adding two numbers, okay? So, uh, yeah, if you add two numbers, you, uh, one of you uh, just uh, write in. So when you add two numbers, what do you do? In the I chat, can't see the screen properly. You can't see the screen now. You can see. No, I still can't. You still can't. Okay. Take number. I'll say number one equals ten. How to uh, you know add two numbers? Number two equals twenty. So what should be the output? Yes. What should be the output? If we add two numbers, N1 and N2? The output should be 30. Yes, fine. So now we are, yeah, so now we are, instead of just printing it directly, we are taking the input and we are saying enter a number. We are taking the input from the user. So for user inputs, you are uh, writing N1 as your variable declaration at the left hand side equals to input and you're saying enter a number. You can use the same thing here and you can just put in here. And now if we say print, okay, N1 plus N2, what do you feel is the output? I think the output is if it is uh, if I have entered ten and ten, what will be the output? 
Probably 30. Let's see. Okay. So enter name. I just enter some name. I enter number. I enter another number. What is happening? It is giving me 10 and 10. It is taking in as a string. So we have to, when we are putting in like this user input for a number, we'll have to convert it into an integer. We have to say int before the input and comma. Okay. So you have to open the brace, close the brace. Int, open the brace, input, open the brace, enter the number, close two braces. So similarly, we are doing the same thing with the second number. Okay. Right. And uh, we'll see, print N1 and N2. Now it will print. Okay. So number, number. Now it is printing 20. So here you will have to be a little precise when you're giving instructions to the computer. So that is what we were uh, speaking about. And uh, I wanted to uh, show you import. Anyway, we can see that uh, later. I'll show you just, uh, I'll stop the screen and I'll show you an HTML uh, screen. Yeah, I see it. Yes, okay. So uh, we are not doing this today, but we will be doing something like this. Why is this required? Uh, this will be done for a project for scrapping. You need to know how the HTML layout is, okay, for the scrap web scrapping that we are working on. Okay, so this is a, a simple example. You have list of properties and you're trying to find, uh, you know, the property information from the existing web page. This is not a site. Site will have multiple pages. This is only a single page, okay. So we are seeing how to do that uh, at the end. So initially I will not do this uh, because it will be a little confusing for you all. Okay, I'll stop this uh, sharing. I will uh, basically concentrate on your uh, coding abilities. Okay, so once you're done with that, okay, so then uh, once you're uh, well versed with uh, your uh, print and variable declaration and all that, we can go ahead with the next. Okay, so this we will be doing, okay, web page. I have uh, also taught students web page uh, creations, website creations and creating an, uh, you know, the whole website using ASP and JSP.net, but we'll not do that much in detail since you're in fourth, fifth and sixth, we'll see how to create now. So demonstration, uh, we uh, saw and in the summary, uh, I'm summarizing it, is we have uh, seen Python. Python is portable and it is easy and it is cost effective. It is used in rapid application development. I told you there are many rapid application development. You have, uh, you know, uh, Python, you have machine learning and uh, you have uh, internet of things, you have other Salesforce and all that. So you are using this in a lot, many things. What we saw today was print and variable declaration. Uh, keyword, we can uh, see it again. So you cannot use keywords, you cannot pre use print as your variable. That is what it implies. Okay, when you're declaring a variable, we had taken n1 equals to uh, int input, enter a number. You cannot say print. Okay, so that is your keyword. So that is what it implies. Okay, so basically what we have seen here is we are trying to uh, understand uh, the uh, things in detail. Okay, and then we go ahead. Uh, see, now when I showed you, okay, uh, when I uh, just entered without int, you said it has to print uh, 20 or 30, depending on whatever the input, but that was not how it was. So we will just uh, clarify simple things initially. So print and variable declaration was what, during the course, what you will learn. You will have print and variable declaration. You have conditional statements and loops. You will also study strings, okay? Apart from that, uh, the list that is arrays is how to store a uh, number of uh, numbers in a list, dictionary and tuples. What is the difference between them? Okay, and the functions. So you will not do programming here. You try to understand what it is initially 
functions and then we'll have one whole session on html you will have a multiple choice questions based on python only and you uh, after we complete uh, uh, you know the print the conditional the string the functions and all that we will be uh, doing a simple guessing activity for two players using python you will have some little fun with calendar we'll use string splitter and basics of web scrapping for this basics of web scrapping before we start off with this you have to understand what is html okay uh, some since most of you have done some of it so i don't think it will be difficult but we i'll just uh, tell you how these uh, different tags are used so you have html tags so how you can infer and how you can uh, get the information okay so this is what we will be uh, doing in the session uh, it is uh, you can check in here in uh, bringle.com uh, okay i hope to see you all there uh, uh, i'll just uh, share the screen about uh, i don't see the yeah. wait i am showing i am showing because i just have to first click in on uh, there and then share otherwise it will not be visible okay uh, just a moment uh, there are other screens visible i'll just uh, do it again i'll show you what needs to be done okay fine i'll just show you the uh, yeah fine now it's visible yeah it's visible yeah so this is the course page uh, python basic okay so uh, you will get an information of what we are going to do as i already told you you will be learning the basics of python you will be having one session on html and uh, requirements is a like uh, desktop or a laptop with windows and all of you are using windows operating system yeah i'm using it okay yeah okay if that is the thing then it's fine uh, okay oh so it is not using windows okay so what is uh, who is using uh, uh, something else from apart from windows i'm going to be using mac mac okay yeah sure fine uh, that's not very really, uh, uh, you know uh, problematic for you you just have to download it and uh, run it uh, you know and and on mac you will the uh, whatever is downloaded will be visible uh, at the bottom of your screen so that's okay we can uh, check into it so we have windows and mac fine so requirement is uh, yeah windows and uh, mac accordingly and this course is for anyone okay anyone with a keen interest to learn the text based coding because text based coding has lot of features that can be done later because you're starting off now i'll be just going with the basics we have four projects to our uh, simple games and to our real life projects okay and this was uh, uh, taking you uh, six sessions and the syllabus you can click on the syllabus all the chapter information is here okay what all will be covered in each of the chapters okay so is here so basically there are uh, nine chapters okay so we uh, the first one we are using the print and error handling also because that is more important if you have an error how you go about variables uh, numeric and string we just saw a little bit now and uh, coding we'll see and we'll see the rest uh, similarly lists also okay so you can uh, go ahead with this okay you can check out the details on this it will be sent to you in the group the group that you are all in so that you can click and view it okay fine so um how was the session it was good it was good okay so uh, i i mean you're kind of interested to know more on text based coding okay fine so based on that i will know how to go about okay so this is the second level uh, that is uh, a little higher you will have machine learning and all that uh, so uh, we will cover in depth syllabus here okay uh, in the machine learning part 
So that is the second level so that you can see, but uh, this is the first level for introduction. And uh, here there are around six, okay? Um, uh, six to eight uh, projects, okay? And uh, so this is the second level, but right now you can focus on the Python basic. We'll send that across. If anybody is interested in the second level, uh, you can just message, you can send that across too. Okay, but let's focus on this. I will share this to you all today. Okay, hope you all uh, had a nice time. Kids, uh, kids, uh, sh should I call you kids or you're comfortable calling me uh, uh, by your name? Huh? Yeah, uh, both is fine. You can choose. Yeah, yeah sure. Thank okay. you. All for being good thank students. You. Yeah, thank you. See you all soon.